I forgot my thought as of now, but hopefully I remember it later and maybe I can talk about it. Amnesia! So, Mike has amnesia. Basically. But we can, uh, I guess we can move on to the next uh, topic. The little bubble that she had here. Right, what's the next yeah. one? Yeah, so it's, uh, I want to, but I'm not good enough. That's the gaslighting version. Mm -hmm. um, the validating yourself is, we all have strengths and weaknesses. And the part I enjoy the most is, I can still try mm -hmm. i'm gonna give some self-disclosure here myself in a do what i used to gaslight myself at least in valorant is i want to but i'm not good enough right like i wouldn't try to make certain plays like i thought of like uh different type of things i could do right mm -hmm. but i thought mechanically maybe i couldn't do it or like my aim isn't good enough etc like all sorts of things right and mm -hmm. I, I kept thinking of it from a great big picture right of i can't do it because of these things right mm -hmm. but as soon as i started putting the practice into like fix all these things like what we said at the beginning like, fix all these, what have you practiced and trust what you've practiced right mm -hmm. so i started hitting the small little steps to get me to those that goal of mine to like make some of these plays right okay and then recently i was playing with a do and uh after i've practiced a lot etc I have been playing more so by myself and uh, with, I guess, solo queue people, right? And there's not that chemistry involved. But I've played with a dude for, like, <laughs> so many different games. And, my okay, sometimes I could be wild. That's what, that's what I, I'm going to say. Like, I'm, I'm greedy in, like, my positioning sometimes. Mm -hmm. And one time, I think, I, I remember very clearly on a map in Valorant. It was Pearl, the new map, and... I pushed up really close to the, the enemy team and tried to get a greedy kill on an eco round. Uh, I didn't get anything, and I was like, I, I need help. <laughs> a dude a do is across the map, throws me uh, a way for me to get out. and Because uh, I was like half panicking, but I was about to do I'll just fight my <laughs> way out. Like right here, I'm going to do it. But dude, you know, my guy just said, uh, Yo, I got you, Mike. Just chill, relax. And then he puts it up, and I was like, Oh, thank you, God. A dude comes. And then, you know, lo and behold, later in that round, I think I like capped two people. And we, we end up stealing the round, I believe, from them. And that was like that sense of feeling where like all the everything that I've practiced, I, I can try still things and I have my own strengths and as long as I practice, et cetera, and I'm aware of my weaknesses. Uh, and I also tell my uh, my teammates, well, in a due situation, he already knows them. So he bails me out at times and I just felt like I transcended, to be honest, like uh, an ability bust in like real life where I'm playing volleyball, I have way more confidence in the things I try. Uh, in Valorant, like, I don't know, I even feel like my reflexes are better or like my eyes are more connected with uh, what I'm doing, I guess. And mm -hmm. that's like my self disclosure, end of my self disclosure story of like, um, when you think you're not good enough, just approach the problem at like the smallest parts and how do you get to that point where you can you understand your strengths and weaknesses and you improve it where you can try right. it, whatever you want and you never know your teammates will probably be like oh okay yo i got you and then some crazy stuff happens and it's absolutely amazing uh feeling in my opinion yeah being there's there's something to be said about like uh teamwork and, and being on the same page sometimes when you're just vibing when you're grooving um as as a, as a group of people especially when you know what you're what each other are trying to do um you can bail each other out. You can do you you know stronger than the uh, than the sum of your parts, right? Like there's like a amplifying effect, right? Like you can you can succeed further than you might have expected, right? So mm -hmm. um, I think that has to do a lot with um, interpersonally, right? But um, it, and having that trust in in yourself um, when you say to yourself that I have these strengths, I also have weaknesses, but at at mm -hmm. the very least, I can always still try. Right. Yeah. So I like that idea a lot. Um, also, I feel like I'm playing devil's advocate to myself, though, is uh, don't also like understand your you need to understand yourself, too. Right. You sh don't need to always fall into the flow of your teammates at times. Like you can help them. But like if you don't feel good about it, like it's like peer pressure almost. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you have that intuition or that feeling that you don't like, like it is a feeling of discomfort, right? Maybe you can try it once or twice, but if you really still don't like it at that time, maybe don't do it. 
Hmm. Tell and tell them like I'm I I don't like this or like I don't want like and that's also okay. Like sometimes like when you play with random people, some people will say like you should have peeked with me, you should have done this, da 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 da, right? Would that be in real life also like they try to put that pressure on you that you should have done this with them, right? Mm -hmm. But take that control back from them. Know yourself, know what you like. You can once in a while try, you know, just for the heck of it, like uh, see if things are different this time. But, you know, eventually after you tried so many times, might as well make a different choice, right? Mm -hmm. Like basically um, slamming your head over and over into the wall or like yeah, trying something yeah. different or like um, adapting to different situations quickly, right? Mike, are you tilted? I'm always tilted. Adu, are you tilted? I am always tilted. Constantly <laughs> tilted. 